In my first Anodice video, I showed an overview of the whole process from start to finish, where we anodized a battery tube and a tail cap, and then dyed them black and sealed them. Today, we have a diode pocket heat sink in aluminum for a 5.6 millimeter laser diode. This part's going to be anodized and dyed and sealed, but today's video is going to look more at the dyeing, so we will pick up this little piece after it's been anodized and is ready to be dyed. The part's been cleaned and degreased and it's been placed in the anodized bath and is starting to anodize. The power supply I used in the first video has simply been built into an aluminum box and given uh, a digital panel meter pair, one for voltage and one for current drawn. So we'll pick this up when the part's been anodized and we're ready to show the dyeing process. Well, we're about 15 minutes into the anodize of the first piece, and I just decided that I was going to add in a second one to the bath, so now there's a second part and a second positive wire connected, as you can see. Halfway point on the anodizing part, I've lit the bath up from behind with a white LED. The first part had its one hour anodize time, so I'm going to remove it and leave the other one to go for another 15 minutes while we dye this first part. So there we go, it's out. We'll rinse it in water. And go over to the blue dye I've chosen, which is Caswell's 4A Blue in this case. Now as we can see, even with just seconds of dipping, the part is taking on a blue tint already. We'll swirl it around a little more. Obviously the anodized layer took well, because we're dying up perfectly and quickly. This part is already nearly at the color of blue that I want. This part is now dyed a very nice deep blue. I'll try and uh, get it closer to the camera here somehow so we can uh, get a look at it. It's definitely nice and blue. So we're going to get ready for sealer. The sealer bath has reached a boil and our part's nice and blue. So in it goes. <coughs> We'll let it boil for about five minutes. This bath, as usual, is water and Caswell's anodized sealer product. The 
the last piece I put in, the little rectangle of aluminum, only has a few minutes left to go. I'm heating a Caswell yellow dye mix in the microwave to about 110-120 Fahrenheit. For this piece, we're going to give it a light yellow wash, and then we're going to try the colored Sharpie markers out as a different way of uh, dyeing that can be used artistically as well. It's time for the second piece, so let's remove it from the anodized bath and put a yellow on it. Hopefully we had good contact and it anodized. We'll rinse it and into the dye we go. It appears to be taking a yellow. I don't want it to get too, too dark because I want to uh, write on this a little bit with different colored Sharpie markers. So we'll stop the yellow about there. We did get a good yellow on our aluminum, and it's not too dark. So there's our yellow. I'll try and move the camera a little bit here. I'm going to put that down, hopefully where we can see it, and zoom in a little bit. Now we have a set here of colored. Sharpie markers. I'm going to start drawing with them on this little piece.
Well, my writing is messy, but I have written on it with different colors of Sharpie marker. So at this point, we're going to put it into the boil-down bath with the other piece, and then I'll pick up the video in five minutes when the boil-down is finished. Here we can sort of see the, the boil-down stove uh, behind the anodized power supply. In a minute or two, those parts will be sealed. Let's get them out and have a look. There they are. Looks like they made it. I'm going to let them cool for a moment so I can handle them. Then we'll have a better look from a better camera angle. Well, here's our finished anodize on the two parts. All I have left to do is uh, rinse them in water and buff them with a rag. So I'll do that and then we'll have a look at the final result. Well, here's our blue laser diode heat sink completed. It has a nice, shiny blue anodize on it, just what we wanted. Let's have a look at the other part. Here's our little piece of eighth inch thick aluminum uh, about an inch and a quarter by three inches, this piece. Again, it was given a light yellow wash using the Caswell yellow dye. Then I rode all over it with different colored Sharpie markers. As you can see, the Sharpie markers will also color the anodize very, very effectively. Note that to before I used the Sharpie markers, I took a paper napkin and I blotted the piece dry without rubbing it or putting any friction to the new anodized layer because this layer is fairly fragile until you boil it in the sealer. The Sharpies, of course, are not water-based so the part has to be dry before the ink from them will go in. Attempting to use them on a wet piece will just make a mess. However, the way I've done it here, as you can see, it came out very well, and uh, that's in there permanently, just like any other anodize. So the Sharpie markers open up a few avenues for creativity in your anodizing. I hope this short little video was interesting and maybe gave you a few ideas for your own anodizing projects in the future. Thanks everyone for watching, and I will be doing a few more videos in the future uh, on different aspects of anodizing. I'll see you then.